All right, so in this uh, video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get started on Adobe After Effects. And so when you open it up, you'll be welcomed with something. <laughs> and we're gonna do a new project. And typically you're probably gonna see the default workspace, which looks like this. So we're actually gonna use the tutorials in After Effects. So I'm gonna go to Window uh, Workspace and I'm gonna choose Learn. And you'll probably only see these two to begin with, but just so you know, you can press plus and you can get to other ones as well. All right, the reason I'm making a video is because sometimes it's kind of hard to follow, even though they're, they're explaining it the best they can with text. Okay, so we are gonna do learn the basics and we'll start at the top. And we have different panels available. So here's our effects, our projects, so the source files that we're using, composition for uh, like um, when you're running the timeline and the timeline is down here. So like it says, we're going to do the and we'll select new composition from footage and we're going to choose the logo it's using adobe illustrator which is a graphic that's made and it's um it's a vector image um, we'll get into that some other time and i'm going to hit import and i'm going to say it is composition it's not footage so we're going to choose composition and hit ok now what you'll notice is we actually have a couple things up here um the composition you just created from the logo and the folder with the original logo in it. Okay, so we got a folder and we have a logo. I'm not sure if you'll see two up. I had one up one earlier, so that's maybe why it's showing both. Either way, we have our logo right down here and here's the project file. Next, all right, opening composition. So um, we're gonna double click the logo. Boom, there it is, and it brings it up down here. And you'll notice actually we have the word APEC uh, and logo. And uh, there are two separate things, even though it's one thing up here in your project folder, it is separated into two different pieces down here in the timeline. So that's part's done. All right, let's organize the composition. It, each time you make changes and do all these things with me, it's gonna say, hey, you wanna save these? And you, you can just say, no, save, that's fine. All right, so double click the project panel to add a video file to the summer forest. So this is the project panel, just double click in the open area here. Here's our summer forest and we click import. And you notice it didn't actually come bring up that composition thing. It just brings it up because it is footage. Okay, and we're gonna drag that down below our logo. All right, and when you drop it in there, you don't see any change unless we move it over to the left. And there it is. So that's our background footage there. Um, now you'll notice if you take something like uh, the video footage and put it above it. Oops, say I'm trying to drag it from here. It doesn't actually do that. You have to drag it from here, like the words. You can see it can show up in front of it, which is useless, right? <laughs> we want to be able to see our logo, so we're gonna bring that back down. All right, and we'll line that back up before we leave the next one. All right, so we're gonna move our cursor over. We can see these, this uh, this is too long. The default 30 seconds, we don't need all that. So we can grab that end and bring it in. Um, if it's not, if you hold down shift, it'll actually snap to it a little easier, so like snap. There you go. So when you're resizing it, it's kind of like the magnetic tool um, in Premiere. Hold on shift, kind of get it close and it, it gets it right on there for you. All right, changing wind layers up here. Ooh. All right, so if we don't want our logo to start quite already, you can see this, I got this little blue dot down here and we can move to that spot and then we can bring our, don't have our logo basically come in or the word APEC until one second in. Okay, and so when you move your little bar over, you can press space bar and it'll play it. And so you can see the, the words came in after the fact, right there, okay? Because that part of the composition uh, was just the words, okay? All right, that one's done. All right, let's animate layers. So here gets the more fun things in my mind. <laughs> All right, so it looks pretty good now. Um, and what we're gonna do is we are going to, it says in the timeline panel, Again, that's here, logo, all right. And in the composition panel, uh, it says, click the actual logo itself and drag it slowly to the bottom of the screen. Okay, so I'm gonna click this and go straight down. I can hold down shift to make sure it's going straight down, see? And I'm gonna bring it just off screen, boop. There we go. And that's gonna make a nice straight line down. And I hit next. And what I'm gonna do next is go to that logo. There's a little drop down arrow right here, click that. And we have transform, which is the it has a position, anchor, scale, rotation, opacity. These are like the default things. People change a lot. So we're gonna break down the. Um, oh, here's position. Sure. 
and we're going to click on the little stopwatch boop right there and this is saying hey great job so this is where we're going to start adding keyframes you can see this blue diamond okay um and right now the position is off the screen this blue diamond indicates it's at this position okay gonna hit next and now i'm going to move my um timeline indicator to here current time indicator sorry <laughs> right at the edge and then to the right of the blue numbers right um we can actually change this number so i'm going to grab this you can click and drag it left and right oh i'm sorry that's the uh, y, x position sorry y and you can see, bring it up so by going left and right you're changing the numbers and it's saying you know bring it to 516 you can also just go over here and type in 516 that also works just fine and now what it's doing is if we go to the beginning you hit play by hitting space bar hopefully this plays for me yeah it did play for me until i actually clicked off the logo and back onto it up here then i hit space bar and it came in just fine notice that's not only the logo moving but the words also appear at one second boom there it is let's go to next animation practice all right so uh you have the opportunity to reinforce your learning by trying short animation challenges cool let's go after it okay so it's saying hey see how you get this little word to fade in try it out all right and i would say pause it and actually try it out as well um but let's try it so when it gets there so i'm going to start at that first dot right when that logo wants to appear right there it is um we could go to that word apex and we can bring it down again maybe try this on your own and use the hints on the left side uh, but i'm gonna drop this down and under transform it's like oh where where is that yeah you have to drop that down as well and there is opacity so i'm gonna hit my little timeline and it's at 100 percent right there and i can go and oops, actually i want to stay on it hit opacity change it to zero and then go for like a second that's good and hit opacity and move it to 100 again so it's going from zero to 100 so it's fading in there so let's try that out see it kind of comes in gradually Ooh, nice all right so we're done with the uh animate layers now we're going to add some visual effects as well okay um we're going to select that summer forest layer by clicking on it down here and then we're going to go to effect at the top and we're going to add some blur effect blur and sharpen and they have a lot of different ones but it wants us to use the box blur uh or fast facts fast box blur <laughs> sorry and uh we could blur the background okay so no, you don't notice anything yet okay but that effect is on here and if we scroll down we can see it but first let's hit next and get to the next little button here so if we're on that layer all right click it here and we can go to effects because that wasn't there before and here's facts bo fast box blur drop that down as well and we can see our options for a fast box blur okay so uh i'm going to change blur to 25 okay you can, get, you can click it or you can type it in all right you can click and drag or type it in and now our background is nice and blurry okay looks kind of good and again you can hit spacebar and uh to run it if it's not working just click off and click back i don't know why it's done doing that lately but as you play it, it doesn't always play the greatest but you see this green line that's letting you know that that's rendered and that will play smooth the next time so if i play it again it actually looks pretty good there all right next adding keyframes to animate effects all right so we got the fast blocks box blur i don't know why it's hard to say and then find blur radius uh, to the stopwatch on the left so um we basically gradually apply that effect so right now it's at 25 right and so you could put a little dot there again blur radius and we can go back to the beginning and do another blur radius and change it back to zero okay so now it's going like oh it's a forest and getting blurrier and there we are great so yeah start and end positions all right changing effects over time move the current time indicator to the beginning no problem all right and change it to zero. Oh, i just did that we're good all right press space bar to see how it works we also did that as well looks great all right all right go back to the beginning and now we can add multiple effects so we're going to go back to the active layer being the summer one right here and again we can go to effect distort and let's try doing a mirror okay and we can see down here we also have the mirror effect as well and we can drop it down to look at it here all right let's hit next um so interestingly we can grab now right here is this like 
I don't know what to call it. It's like little target thing, right? And you can uh, click it once and you can choose where the center is. Now, it's kind of hard to tell. I should probably move this over and then choose the center. Like we want the center of the logo. So I'm going to press that again and we're going to choose this being the center. Okay. And that looks pretty good. Play with the composition effects to apply the beta background. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, go back to the beginning, hit, hit space, and you can see it's giving this mirror effect from the center. Pretty cool. I like it. Next, just like before, once we start a new one, it's going to ask you on a save. You say no, and it gets us in here. Uh, now, basically, we have it here, but we want to be able to actually use it somewhere else like in Premiere. So we're going to go to composition, add to render queue. And by doing that, um, it's going to bring this up. And you can see what it is, is it has best settings on there. Okay. And, uh, you know, probably the default is fine. It's 1080. Okay. And over here on the right side, though, they have output. You have to click that to say where it's going to output to. So maybe the desktop or downloads. Um, and once you do that, you're going to hit render. And what it's going to do is basically creates every frame and compiles it into a movie file. So since this is on lossless, um, which means it doesn't lose anything from the original, you, um, with lossless format, it's going to be an AVI, which is a very large file, unfortunately. Um, like this one clip is going to be almost two gigabytes, even though it's only like, what, 20 seconds, not even that. Um, so there it goes, and hit a little sound, and that means it's done. You hit next, and it's going to say, hey, congratulations, go ahead and watch that video, and you could go ahead and find it. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, what I would challenge you to do then is, is go to back all the way, and at the top here, you can hit all, and you can hit plus, and you can see these other ones that are available as well. The one I think would be a good one to start with is the animations fundamentals. Mine shows up here because I've already opened it. All right, good luck.